the biggest challenge to doing the MLK portrait is that his his face is very elusive. Uh, if you look at 20 pictures of him, five or six, you wouldn't know they were him if you saw him out of context. So uh, making it look like him was the most important thing. And uh, uh, it took a whole series of processes that I do to help ensure that, that I got that correct, including watching a loop video of a news conference in slow motion over and over and over and over while Dr. King is talking and moving his head back and forth. Considering what's in the news right now about a number of statues, I, I think it's, it's serendipitous that this one is being put in. Um, public statues are statements of, of who we are and there's controversy about a number of them. And this may be one solution to, to have, have, uh, have different points of view in the same location. Um, Dr. King will be on the northeast corner of the Capitol, and there's a completely different sculpture on the, on the other corner. So it, it's nothing that was planned when, when, the, when the governor started this three years ago, but it's interesting that it's, that it's going in on, on Monday with this in the news. And, and Monday is the 54th anniversary of the I Have a Dream speech, so uh, that's the significance of picking that day. So I think we're all feeling like we haven't come far enough, and I'm hoping that the sculpture reminds us that we have come a ways for Martin Luther King to be gazing out at MLK, um, the street named after him, I think says a lot. The first step after being commissioned was to figure out the scale. Uh, uh, we've, uh, so I did a quick what's called a maquette, it's sculpture lingo for mock-up. I did a maquette figuring out the pose and uh, we, we blew that up in a fi uh, photo eight feet tall, cut it out and brought it down to the Capitol and decided that was the right scale. We didn't know if it should be six feet, seven feet, nine feet, but eight feet from a block away felt just right. Did I ever doubt that it would come out right? Uh, in a word, no. Uh, although after I was done and the mold was made, I would wake up in the middle of the night thinking, oh gosh, <laughs> I hope everybody thinks it looks like him.